Let me tell you a story of a kid who was broken once. He was 12 years old when he was first introduced to X-rated videos on his cousin's computer. Those advertisements of pretty girls, they always caught his attention, but he never intended for pornography to become his biggest addiction. And since then, his innocence has been irrelevant to him. In that moment, without knowing, he allowed Satan to slip in and replace the child inside of him with such lies in the image that women are just pretty little pieces of skin. And throughout the years, he always battled out with his demons constantly, but always found a comfort when he turned to pornography. This is the only thing he knew that could ever keep him company. In the shadows, in the dark, I want someone to love me. I want someone to hold me and always be there for me. I know porn is really phony, but I hate being lonely. And let me tell you, my friend, I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick, my friend. I'm sick to my stomach because I'm always forgetting and disrespecting the beautiful creation God made in. I'm always praying on my knees and asking for forgiveness. God, I promise I won't let this happen again. But you know, I've said that a million times to begin with. From the time I was 12, I'm 18, so how is this time any different? Oh, you claim to be such a messenger, a Christian. So why is your life so buried in addiction? Look at your reflection. You're the definition of what a hypocrite is. Always preaching to the broken, but you're not any different. My friend, I am human, just like she is, and no one who walks this earth is picture perfect. Yes, I know I am broken, and I've spent the last six years keeping this bottled up in darkness. And I'm ashamed of what I've become. But honesty is the first step to ever being in recovery. God, I know you're the only one who can save me. So please give me the strength to overcome these demons that I'm facing. God, you know I am yearning for your eyes to see that my sin is so absurding. She was not made for my own selfish desires, and I'm sick and tired of not admiring her for her true beauty that lies within her heart. Because I end up swimming with the sharks as I am broken! I'm broken. God, you know I'm broken. This is the first time that I've ever confessed this in front of anyone. This is the first time that these words have ever been spoken. Out loud, but at least I'm being honest now. I've always been a prisoner to my flesh and what it desires. But I know in my heart that the devil is a liar.